what is the designation of this and the caliber? Uh, the name is cord. Cord. Это пулемет как бы унифицированный, ставится на боевые машины, танки, значит, в качестве зенитного пулемета ставится на боевые машины пехоты. It's very unusual. It feeds from the right side and it ejects from the right side. Also has a recoil dampening mechanism, correct? That dampens recoil? Да, да, здесь встаем на станке и предусмотрена пружина стоит. Ask him how you change the barrel. How does the barrel change? Locks up and locks. Yep. Interesting. So it's in theory you could do it without burning, burning your hands. Yeah. In theory. Now, uh, cyclic rate. How fast does it fire? Shoot it. Ready to shoot it? Let's do it. Going hot. Wow. How'd it feel? Awesome. Cord, last gun we fired. Very impressive gun. I'd heard good things about it from some people in the States who've had some trigger time with it. Very controllable, especially on that mount, which had a recoil dampener in the stock. And dude, that was impressive. I could see with an optic especially, you could do some serious work with that gun. What I thought was interesting is it feeds from the right and ejects from the right. Yeah, interesting, that tube, that forward ejection yeah, tube. Forward is... ejection tube. Pretty cool gun. First time I'd ever shot one, virtually unknown in the United States. Overall, impressive gun. Of the four guns we shot today, the, the two most impressive, interestingly enough, are both from the same manufacturer, the AK-971 and the Cord. Yeah. They're the two most impressive guns out here today.